and I'm Bianca. And I'm Siobhan. And we're your wannabe tea experts here at Tea Vendor in LA. And today we're doing something a little Halloween-y. We are going to read our own tea leaves. So I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I don't think we're going to really do great at it, but who knows? We might surprise ourselves. But what's shocking is that this is an exact science. <laughs> we need to put a disclaimer <laughs> at the bottom. That is not. <laughs> So, the reason we got inspired for this was because uh, Brendan was going through the warehouse and found a bunch of books, tea books, of course, and he found this one, The Art of Teacup Fortune Telling. So, it came with this bad boy. Yeah. So, apparently, at one time, it did come with a specific teacup to read the tea leaves with. That has been lost to time, but we do still have the book and all of the information. Um, we'll be real with you. We didn't read it. We skimmed through it. Why don't we get started here? We gotta show our <laughs> secondary camera so it gets the shot. Cause we're professionals like that now. <laughs> <laughs> Just the invisible camera. Just everybody gets a look. There is a technical name for this and Bianca and I were really proud of ourselves cause we got it right the first time we asked Siri how it was pronounced and we pronounced it right before Siri did it. Yes. How do you pronounce it? I don't know. Can you ask Siri? Yeah. Ask her what's the hey, official Siri. Tea name or whatever. How are... Okay, no. The official what's pronunciation. What's the official scientific name for tea leaf reading? Tassography is a term. Tassography. So this is a part of divination. So we're big Harry Potter nerds, so we're really excited about this. It's very Professor Trelawney. The green. You know, all of that. Um, but before, <laughs> before we, <laughs> before we jump into talking about the art of tea leaf reading, Bianca, why don't you uh, let the people know at home what we are having today? We are using the Assam TGFOP from our great friends at Chato Tea. Um, they have tea rooms in the LA area. We love them. Yeah. Um, so this is just a black tea. It's going to be a stringent, malty. Um, it's a strong black tea, um, which I'm thinking has lots of powers because it's strong. Yes. Yeah, so you're actually, you are supposed to use a black tea because um, it's strong. You can use any grade, so it doesn't really matter which grade you're using. So we've just chosen to, to pick this one, like Bianca said, because it's strong. And it's a full leaf, yes. I'm and it's a, yeah. So tea leaf reading, they say, is based on the concept of directing your energy. So we're directing our energy right now into this teacup. Just hone in on it, okay? I'm honing. Are you honing? I'm honing. Okay, cool, great. So they say that when we focus our magical intention on the tea, the leaves become energetic conduits. Oh, that I don't like that word conduit. That just reminds me of like Annabelle. Yoka, okay, you just said this was a science. <laughs> that are capable of I know. Mirroring. So we gotta use it as like this is okay. the it's, but a conduit this science. No, that's, it's an exact science. It's an energetic conduit as used in science. <laughs> the leaves are used as an energetic conduit that are capable of mirror capable of mirroring mirror I can't talk. Of mirroring mirroring. Mirror mirroring our experiences, including those which have yet to happen. Well, let's get into so, it. I want to know. All right. I so I want to know. It does say that when prompted with a question, the leaves reveal hidden blockages, offer advice, and even forecast the future. We are going to first brew a cup of tea, right? So it's always loose leaf that you want to use. <clears throat> the contents of a tea bag won't work because it says that they are too finely cut to have it be a reading. Okay. So, but if you were using the Chato PTVs, you could use those if that's all you have at home because you can just cut that open and put that into the cup and because the they do use a full leaf. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's so, <laughs> so uh, if you have those at home, you could definitely use those. Those will work. They'll do the same exact thing. So you do not need any strainers or infusers. All you do is you put some tea in your cup so Bianca, let's get some tea. You want to make sure it's like a tablespoon or so because you want to have enough in there for a reading. Maybe we should have read the book. No, we're winging it. I think we should have read the book. 
I did research, it's fine. Next, we're going to pour the hot water over the tea leaves. You don't need a ton, you just need maybe a little less than half a cup. We have to drink this? We do. It's fine, it's part of the process. While the water cools, take a few moments to reflect on your intention. Okay. Reflecting. And begin transferring your energy into the absorbent tea leaf. So show us how you transfer your energy. How do you do it? Just like this. Just just like this. We're gonna, is this, are we gonna? So it does say that specificity is important here. So be sure to formulate a clear and concise question. Okay, so we're asking the cup a question. So remember okay. that a general ask will yield a general answer. How much of a raise am I gonna get? <laughs> <laughs> right, or like, how exactly. How much money are you gonna get this year? How much money to the cent am I going to make this year? When the temperature is right, begin sipping on the tea, but continue to contemplate your question. So you're still putting your energy okay, yeah, hang on. into it. I need to actually think okay. of a question. What do I want to know? Wait, really quickly, you do need to leave about a tablespoon of liquid in the cup. So don't okay. drink it all. Okay? So. Hmm. Question. Is this like when you like blow out your birthday candles? Are you like not allowed to share what you've asked for? Yeah. Okay. I think we're ready. Okay, so you need to do it in your left, to... your left hand. Oh. I don't know why, it just says your left okay. hand. I don't know. So I guess cheers. Oh, cheers? No, wait, wait that should, seems like yeah, not... That doesn't, yeah. That doesn't, so, it didn't say to cheers. No, so cheers from a distance. Yeah. God, this smells so strong. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <coughs> <clears throat> I need water. I mean, I know technically this is water. <clears throat> Woo! Okay. Okay. You got some tea in your teeth. Uh huh. Ooh, yep. Oh. Yeah. I think that's like a tablespoon. Okay. This is actually a really good cup of tea typically, but the amount of tea to water ratio is not okay. Yeah, so something we just to use too much. Yeah, so over steep tea is yeah. a bitter crime. Something to know is like you're not making this cup of tea to enjoy. No. You're making it to, for like a purpose. So that's about all we got left. Woo! That is bitter. So what we're that going to do that. is when there's a tablespoon of liquid remaining in the cup, we begin the swirling and turning ritual. Okay. Holding the cup in your left hand, swirl it three times from left to right. So one, one two, two, three. three. One, two, three. Right. Next, also with the left hand, slowly and carefully invert the cup over a saucer. Leave the cup upside down for approximately one minute, then rotate it three times. Turn the cup back upright, positioning the handle due south so hold on, the freeway runs this way, so that's south. Okay. <laughs> tea leaves should be stuck in the cup in a variety of shapes and clusters embedded with insight and answers. Now it's time to tell their story. Okay, just as you do it first, and then no, no, I'll... No. Just guide it, guide yeah. each other one by one. Okay, next yeah, step. so let's go we did the swirl. Yeah. Now, next, with our left hand, slowly and carefully invert the cup over a saucer. So we're going to take the saucer, and yeah, you know what? But it says you have to invert the cup, so it's not that the saucer goes on top. No, I know, but then so invert you'll it. just like flip it like that. No? Invert it like this. No, 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 Bianca, you gotta invert it. You gotta invert I'm it. I'm going to. I no, just you don't. can't do the, oh. the. It has to be the cup goes first. Yeah. Okay. Go. Now and then leave Science, the cup upside right? down for approximately one minute. So set it down, Bianca. We'll see you guys in about a minute. Well, within that minute, um, what's your opinions of? tea leaf reading so far. I love science. It's interesting. I think Bill if I was like Nye the science guy. doing it on my own, I think I'd probably take it a lot more seriously. Not yeah. that I'm not taking it seriously, but like, I think it'd be a different experience. Like I would set the tone, you know, light some candles, maybe have some like really ambiance music. This could be a fun thing to do on Halloween if you want to. Yeah, it would be actually With fun. With Chato or tea vendor tea. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, this could be a really fun, spooky activity for yeah. Halloween. It'd be great for like a girls' night. Like a girls' yeah. Halloween night. I feel like this is something that or you could get. Guys night. You never know. Yeah. Or if you're a tea room and you have you know, a great experience to offer do like, like a, a Halloween an activity, activity or something, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. yeah. It'd be a lot of fun. I think that's been about a minute. Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is then we rotate the cup three times. To the left? Yes. So and to the right. This oh with There's your left hand. Yeah. So with your left hand. So Mm, it's just messy. Turn the cup back upright, positioning the handle due south. Okay. How are we feeling? You lost more tea leaves than I did. Okay. okay. So mine looks a bit like a moon. You can see it. So how the cup is broken down for a reading. So I guess there's like a specific way you're supposed to read the cup. So the handle of the teacup serves as an important function. It's the energy conduit that connects the physical and abstract realms. It also symbolizes you and should be positioned due south to signify your current environment. Tea leaves near the handle suggest events relating to your immediate surroundings, whereas leaves directly across the handle due north symbolize external issues and outside influence. No way! I don't like this. Surrounded by clouds, it denotes depression and tears. A full moon. Oh, wait, hang on. You're a quarter moon. Oh, no, no, it's a quarter moon. First quarter of the moon indicates new ideas and the opening of new projects. The last quarter warns you to refrain from taking up any new undertaking and to be wary of traveling by water. Okay, so yours is at the bottom of your cup. The rim symbolizes the present, the sides represent the near future, and the bottom signifies the far future. So since yours is on the bottom of your cup, what you just read about, that's something in your far future. That almost, I don't know, it kind of looks like a mushroom, like the negative space. Oh yeah, it kind of does look like mushroom. I wonder what mushroom means. Okay. I think people at home, they're a thing for a mushroom. A change to a country home. She's moving, and that's basically yeah. what the cup said. Yeah. So, yeah. there we go. What was yours, Bianca? Um, the moon. I don't remember. It was the moon. Hmm. What's the moon? What was, what was it? it? New ideas. Yeah. Basically means I'm going to be rich. It told you not to go across the ocean, though. Yeah. That it was said not, not to travel by sea. Not to travel by okay. sea. Are you traveling by sea at any time? No. Well, that's good. Do you see what I'm seeing? Or am I crazy? It was fun. I, I mean, it's something different, something unique. It's something I've always wanted to try. Would I do it again? Maybe. Maybe I would set the tone, you know, do some manifestation and other things with it. Um, Bianca, would you try it again? I would. I, I think maybe directly after this, I want to do it again. Cute, yeah. it's fun. Yeah, so this maybe we'll have a different so reading. We recommend it. Yeah, yeah we definitely recommend it. It's really interesting, especially like, because this book is actually very interesting. I want to know if we can like find it on and have copies Amazon or something. Yeah. Uh, but it's really cool. The Art of Teacup Fortune Telling by Minetta. Well, that's this has been us doing tea leaf readings. So like and subscribe. For Did you want to read Brendan's? No. I think you should. No. Focusing Keep on putting your energy into the damn your cup. energy into it and actually thinking of what you uh, Don't look at me it. like that. Watch us be like the most hostile cup reading ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he picks it back up. It just says Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> on the side. It looks more like a wolf upside down. Okay. A wolf. Okay. The grim. It's the grim. <laughs> Bianca. It's the grim. Okay.